we've talked way too much on climate solutions in terms of percentages in years. We'll, we'll do 15% reduction by 2015, 20% reduction by 2020, 80% reduction 2050. All these numbers are great. They're aspirational goals. They're fantastic. I think post COP15, we're going to see a, uh, a time where the conversation around what it is that we're cutting will change into how do we get there? And we're, we're going to get presidents and prime ministers and governments committed to a reduction. There's an economic negative spiral that is driven today because of oil and because of our dependence on oil as the only energy source for driving cars. Now, apart from that, we have 25% of our global CO2 emission. If, if we need a reason, we're, we're destroying the planet by driving cars. It's not just a decision, let's go cut. It's how you're going to do it. And key solutions, big solutions, um, that don't go, you know, let's cut 20% out of 1% of the cars we have. But let's cut all the cars to zero emission will become key in actually solving the problem. The, the real key is going to zero at infinity. Going to zero emission at infinity scale.